Hi there, uh, welcome back to the workshop. This is like it's the most exciting day of the build for me because I've got paintwork back from Arnie and seat back from Jez and I'm hoping that by the end of today with a tailwind, uh, this will be back together and looking incredible. But I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown because I've had to burn the midnight oil um, and get my skates on and get this chassis uh, ready for the bits from uh, Jez and Arnie. But I'm just giving you a rundown on what I've been doing uh, while they've been working their magic. Um, so uh, as this bike sits at the moment, uh, the rear tail light assembly, number plate reflector, uh, number plate mount, that's all been done. We've chopped the lugs, we've uh, shortened the indicator rubbers, uh, that's all gone back together. All the wiring's been done, uh, the tool tray's been put back in. So that's the whole back end has been done. Uh, there's this slipper plate here. I had to make that and fit that. Um, I've also been over to Newmarket to Fast Tech. Um, they've stripped and polished the footrests and machined off the pillions. Uh, and then this has been painted on the top here, just that thin silver line. It's lovely. Um, and then put them back on and obviously your gear linkage, master cylinder, the other side, brake pedal. Um, so those are back on. Uh, the race fits, uh, they also arrived. So once the footrest plates are on, I've fitted them. Uh, they're gorgeous. I, I love them. They sound fantastic too. Uh, so the footrest assembly and exhaust, that's all been done. Um, there's more work here than you kind of think. You think it won't take long to swap the bars, but it's got the Renthal bars. They've been fitted. I've polished both of these caps now. Remember, they were black because it had a riser kit, apparently, when he bought it. Um, and he bought the caps and he could only get them black. Uh, he was in two minds whether to polish them or not. I've polished them. I prefer that. I think it offsets the black bars beautifully. Um, master cylinders swapped, switch gear swapped, Tomaselli grips are on. This one's got the sort of big rubber bead in it that fits in your hand. I just love them. Uh, the LSL levers are on. I haven't fitted the wing mirrors um, because uh, I do them after the fairings on. Uh, you can't really contact them with the fairing, it's just me being paranoid. So uh, they're the, actually the last thing that goes on. Um, I've also uh, rewired the front indicators, well I say rewired, I put these bullets on just so that it just makes it easier down the line when you're working on the bike. If you want the fairing off, you just pull them and the indicators stay on the fairing, three mounting bolts and the fairing's off. You've not got to take this rim off to disconnect these inside. So. I've just had experience of that down the line, you know, that it's awkward if you don't do that. So uh, I do those, uh, they're just Japanese bullet connectors. Uh, and obviously the bottom mount's been done with all the horns in and, and rewired. So that's it sat there, ready. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. If I have, I'll discover along the way, but I'm pretty sure that's ready for everything just to go back on. Now remember, all that stuff has been fitted already. So hopefully uh, I won't have an issue. So um, to that end, uh, we're now ready to bolt it together and hopefully we're going to give birth to a new 5.4. Right, finish that off. So hopefully uh, it's a straight run to get the tank on. The tank is the first thing I put on. Uh, I've refitted the fuel cap, that's easy. Uh, the fuel pump is in, uh, that's ready and obviously that's got the wiring to be connected. And the tank mounting rubber's on. Now. A little clue here that I do, uh, I'll probably have to eat my words here because I'll do something horribly wrong. I take all my jewellery off because rings, watch straps, bracelets, um, I've marked paintwork uh, in the past and it's so depressing when you get this back from Arnie uh, and me being an idiot, uh, I have actually marked a fairing building. So look, fingers crossed, hopefully that's not going to happen today, but check out that. I mean, it's beautiful. That's Arnie's beautiful paintwork. And uh, yeah, so now I've got to slot this on and just connect up the pipes and bolt it on. Normally these aren't too tricky. Um, so yeah, let's get this mounted. Obviously there's no fuel in it at the moment and that's, that's good because it makes it light. Um, just carefully get that on there. With these, you just push them down. Say push them down. Let's go forward a bit. Hmm, already fallen foul. There we go, push it down, then shove it forward on the rubbers and check that the bolt hole is vaguely in line, which I think that is. So right now, I've got to connect up the rubbers. 
Right, that's all the fuel hose and the breather hose is connected. Uh, we didn't film that, it can be a little bit of a fiddle, very straightforward. There's two hoses and a fuel hose. Uh, but uh, so that, that's all back together. Just put the mounting bolt down. I've checked the tanks, I think pretty much far, as far forward on the rubbers as it'll go. Uh, put that in, make sure that's tight. That's that. Now I'm gonna just do the, uh, this is the wiring for the uh, fuel pump. Uh, that just uh, clips in here. That's the, that goes in there. And then that tucks behind the side panel mounting. It's got a tang on it that pushes into a thing in the frame. So that's out the way. So the side panel mount will go in. Uh, right, happy days. That's the tank mounted. I mean, just look at the difference that makes, just that going on. So I love it. it I find this really rewarding this stage. So right, next I've got to do the tailpiece, which is a bit of work bolting it all together with the seat base, uh, which is over here. I'll just get that to show you. Um, this is Jez's handiwork. So there's the seat base, uh, obviously now covered with the diamond stitching, Alcantara and leather. So there's that. And now um, a bit of crashing next door, you just have to put up with that. Um, and then now I've got to go and get the tailpiece. Right. In here, all things being equal, should be a candy red tailpiece. Uh, here she is. Check that out. It's got the signature on. Um, so, right, now we've got to fit this. Right, this is the bag of fixings that came off uh, because remember, this has already been bolted on in bare metal. Uh, that's why hopefully today won't be too much of a battle. Uh, this is all the fixings for that tailpiece. And the first thing I do is put these mounting rubbers in the holes. Um, and now this can be tight now because they're painted. It's, it's easy when they're in bare metal. Um, sometimes I have to grease these, sometimes I don't. So we'll see. Uh, right, that's the seat rubbers. They've got arrowheads. Uh, I've managed to get them through the holes. We didn't film that. It's a little bit fiddly. Uh, but they're in, and the rubbers are underneath that sit on the frame rails. Um, now, this tailpiece, obviously the seat goes on there. Um, and this is the carrier plate. Uh, that goes underneath, and that slots in by the tank. Uh, and there's your seat lock. And those two bobbins uh, lock in the frame here. So these are the component parts I've got to get together uh, to get this completed. And obviously the badge, I do that right at the end. Um, so that goes on top, this goes underneath. So I'll flip it upside down um, and get the, get the seat roughly in place. You align it all with the bolts. So that's gonna go that way up. Um, that's gonna go that way up. And first of all, I bolt the seat to this uh, just to keep it aligned and then I fit that plate. So um, these will be Loctited in. At this stage I don't. I then take them out one at a time. Once I've clicked it on the bike, I'm happy with it. It will come off. One bolt at a time will come out. I'll Loctite it um, and then it will be done. Now the first time I fitted it, these were lo longer than they need to be, these bolts. Uh, they don't. These sometimes haven't quite got enough turns on, but I'm hoping uh, that these will be. So I'm only putting all this in finger tight to align it. You're not going to tighten anything up until uh, you're not going to tighten anything until all of them are kind of vaguely in and there. So those, that's good. They're in. Uh, so there's three of these. These just locate the seat base, and then obviously the main structural ones uh, go through the plate. Right, that's the first three seat bolts in. Uh, now the carrier plate. Uh, these are all countersunk. Uh, these have all been Loctited already. Uh, I'll do that on the first build because that's never going to change. Um, that goes there. There should be a spacer. That goes under here. Just get it roughly right. If you line these holes, that's there and that's there, that can't be a million miles out. And I'm going to try and put in 
Uh, that one, I think. You'll notice I haven't put the side panels on yet. Um, I've, I put them on last because I don't want to scratch them taking this on and off all the time. So, but that's easy because this comes off with a key. So that's a straightforward thing. Just gonna have a look at that. Yeah, that looks cool. Keep your bolts off the uh, blanket. Uh, because obviously if one of them gets under there, that's going to be an instant scratch. In fact, I am going to check that there is nothing there. No, look, we're fine. Um, that is easy to do as well. That's why I've got all them off the blanket. So I'm just going to nip these down. Uh, I'll do that one last. I'll do the, there's one underneath there, remember, and I've got a really long extension to get at that. So I'm just seating this now. These aren't properly tight yet, and I'm going to take them out and lock tight them. So I don't need to really tighten these properly yet. This is squashing the leather. That's why you keep getting a bit more on it. Um, and that's the other reason I lock tight it, because if that leather squashes in a month's time, uh, these won't rattle out. I bought this specially for doing this job. So those are down, the seat base should be down and I'll just pull this back. Um, push down on it. That socket never wants to come out, there we go. Get that out of the way. And now I can tighten the front ones. We'll turn that over and see what it looks like. You can have a slight little gap on the tailpiece here, but this seat base is aluminium. You can always manipulate it slightly if you need to. I quite often don't have to, but you can if you do need to. There we go. So that should be... I'm happy with that. I think that's rather lovely. So look, with a tailwind, uh, this should clip straight on. Right, here we go. Uh, nervous moment. Uh, I'm going to fit this. Um, I have loctited all the bolts now, so I've just got to be very careful. Hopefully, there we go. Just checking the fit that it's not loose at the front and it's not loose at the back. That is perfect. I mean, look at that already. This already is starting to look really uber cool. I think the paint's absolutely stunning. So happy days. Uh, next uh, is do the side panels. I'll put the rubbers on with it on the matting there. Uh, and then obviously I'll take the tail piece off, fit them, and then very carefully slide this on and hopefully uh, won't mark the side panels. So that can stay for a minute. I'll get the side panels. I've removed the tailpiece to fit the side panels. Um, obviously, this bolt's got to come out. It's just been put in here so I don't lose it. And then there could be no mistaking over which one goes in there. Uh, that's that. Uh, right side, yeah. Just get the tang in. That tang in. Let's just have a look. Yeah, that's perfect. In there all. No, hang on. These I do find these fiddly. Push the front one in, back one in, push it down. Try and see if you can see the hole where it's going. Ooh. That looks roughly in line. those 
now I'll put the seat back on and it should be just the fairing and mirrors to go but let's try and do this carefully I, I live in fear of marking this now got to keep those bottom edges of the seat unit away from the side panels beautiful the final piece of the bodywork jigsaw is the fairing nose cow whatever you want to call it uh, I've bolted the indicators back on uh, so that's cool happy with that um, and then obviously there's the three mounting bolts and what I do there's spacers inside but I put it on without the spacers uh, check the fit of that uh, and then when I'm happy with that, I then take one bolt out at a time at the top and put either of the two spacers on. So um, here's the bolts. If I put one in, I'll just do it with my fingers to start with. Um, just get that round there. That up there. Now, obviously, this has been on once, so hopefully it should go on again because nothing else has changed. Um, Get that one in. Doesn't have to be tight at this stage, obviously, because I've got to put the spaces in. Get this one in the hole. Right, that's started. I'm just going to get the spanner or the ratchet. So that's that one. Let's go round here. Uh, that's still got a little bit of wiggle room to get the bottom one in. Um, where did I put that down there? These can be a little bit tricky to get in. Have a look. There we go, that is going to go. So look, there you go, that's it on loosely. Uh, now I've got to lock tight these bolts, so I'm happy that that is going to be all right. So I know this sounds mad, I'm going to take that one out again and just lock tight this. Um, I'll nip it up at the end, so I'm only just going to seat these. Plus the paint's so fresh, um, I'm not going to really over tighten these at the moment. But I've fitted the spacers. I've loctited them. Uh, I'm not doing these up mega tight at the moment because the paint's so soft and I don't want to wrinkle it. Um, the owner will have to snug them down. They won't come out, that's why they're loctited. So there we go, check that out. I think that's lovely. I've just got to connect up the wiring uh, and then we can stand back and have a proper look at it. Right, the last thing with the bodywork, I do still have the mirrors to go. As I said, that's the last thing I do, but is the badge. So uh, I've put some, I, I use Gorilla Tape, I think it's better than the 3M. Um, but uh, so look, there's this 5-4 badge, it's numbered. Um, I've got a head torch on so I can see the recess um, properly. Uh, and then also I use this, I get that roughly parallel with the bike. Put that there. Always makes me nervous this, just one of those things. Push it down. That's not going to be coming off. There is a hole drilled in the middle so you can push it off because these stick so well with this tape on. Uh, and then peel that off. And there we go. There's his limited edition badge all numbered. I think that just sets that off beautifully. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think this bike looks absolutely lovely. So, yeah, happy days. That's it finished. I've really enjoyed building it and I can't wait to see Neil's reaction when I unveil it to him. Hi there, uh, this is Neil. Uh, you may have got a glimpse of him when we unloaded the bike and bought it in when he, he's driven all the way from Devon, Devon yeah. um, to, to drop this off. I've had it, what, three and a bit weeks, three yeah, weeks? Yeah, um, so I have been burning the midnight oil to get it done. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it, mate. You had a bike show in between, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I had a few yeah. days off there, worked at the weekend, no peace for the wicked. Um, so you dropped it off, 
Uh, you gave me your spec, which we sorted out. Uh, I think I've got it right, well, I'll find out in a minute. Yeah. Um, and you've wanted one of these for a while, haven't you? Yeah, yes, well, ever since you released them. As I was telling you, my boss used to buy the CB750 um, and with a fairing like you've got on your... Oh, on, on, the the Bentley, yeah. on the Bentley yeah. rebuild, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can get that on YouTube. Yeah. And I used to, when I was like 14 years old, he used to take me around on the back of it. And I yeah. work, used to work in the kitchen, yeah. and cleaning the dishes and stuff, and yeah, this, I used to love this bike. And when I saw you done what you'd done to this, I just thought, oh, I've got to Yeah, I tried to do it retro, yeah, but who the cool retro, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a hooligan we have. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. we all like to be a hooligan at the weekend, yeah, yeah, when we we're do. not doing our day jobs. So look, here it is. I'm going to unveil it. I'm pretty sure you're going to love it, because I know you're into what yeah. I do. Um, so look, mate, here we go. Um, I've cut the buckles off this, so I can't possibly scratch it, because it's just one I leave on in here. I would never use it outside, it's in tatters. I pinched this off my son, because he was going to throw it away, but it's great for him here. So here we go, mate. Um, it's been lovingly put together. Um, so, mate, just feast your eyes. I'm, I'm not going to say anything, which is unusual, in a minute, just to let you have a look at it. Oh, that colour. Oh, I'm so glad I've done that, guy. And also, uh, I have got one other candy red one, um, yeah, which was number 54, but it had black forks. Oh, no, yeah. it had silver forks, actually. So it had the same engine uh, covers, silver, um, but it had silver forks. Yours, can I tell you, this is exactly my light bulb moment of when I started on this, okay. when I saw the standard bike. Uh, this is the vision in my head. Yeah. Gold fork, stripe on the fairing, candy paint. So those are uh, different from the standard yeah. production of Honda, yeah. the one you could get from Honda. Obviously they're not doing them anymore. You miss the boat on those. So you phone me up and say, if I get a bike, can you build me one? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, because I haven't done 54 of them. Um, so here it is. So you've got a signature, uh, right. that's on there. You've got the candy paint, obviously all the badges and everything yeah. are painted. I mean, look at that. Oh, you've got my number there. on it as well. Number yeah, yeah, it's got yeah. the limited edition, your yeah. number on there. Um, and there it is, you've got the LSL levers, Tomaselli grips, um, their high side of mirrors, you've got your race fits, and you've got laser etched, yep. uh, rather than the stickers, uh, which was a later edition, that developed after I'd started making them. Uh, that's why they weren't on from you, uh, when Honda were doing them. Uh, you've got your crash bar still on, and your stainless radiator, not oh, radiator, oil, oil cooler, cooler. Uh, guard. Um, so it's truly a one-off, you know, you've got the candy paint and the gold forks. It's fantastic, guy. it really is. So are you happy with oh, that? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yeah, we've got another one, the other measure one here. Yeah, I've got one under that cover. Yeah, we've got one under that cover. We'll get that yeah. out in a minute yeah. and have a look. Just to put it next to? Yeah. Well, I'm so happy that I went for that. Right, you've seen it, and I can tell you're over the moon with it, which is great yeah. for me as well. Um, now, the other thing, it's got these race fits. Uh, you've got to hear it, mate. I know. Uh, let's, um, let's hope this starts, because it's been parked for three weeks. I haven't had it on a trickle charge. Have you not? No. Okay. Uh, Yeah. A beautiful bike. It's a work of art on wheels. It's better than buying a painting, though. Yeah, it is. I know. 